In 1975, he directed Jaws. In 1978, he directed Close Encounters of the Third Kind. In 1981, he directed Raiders of the Lost Ark. And now, Steven Spielberg brings us E.T., the Extraterrestrial. Today I'm going to show you a toy related to E.T. that you may have never seen before. And if you were a kid in 1982, you probably would have wanted it. You probably would have begged for it. It was released by Hasbro Toys, but before we get into that, let's just ramble about E.T. for a second. People may forget in 1982 how huge this movie was. Now, I was a little offended by it because it took over the number one spot of all times that was held by Star Wars. E.T. knocked it out of the way and I felt a little personally attacked by E.T. But I did enjoy the film. But to me, E.T. in the long run hasn't really held up. I'm not saying it's not good anymore. It just doesn't seem to have the pop culture vibe of the 80s that other things have grown to be loved by a mass audience. I mean, it's no Star Wars, of course. It's no Indiana Jones. It's no Back to the Future. It's no Ghostbusters. You rarely hear younger generation refer to E.T. And I guess part of that is there was no trilogy. There was no sequels, although one was planned never made, thank God. It's just one and done, which is kind of nice to see a hit movie, the number one movie of all times for years, being one and done. But I do think in the long run, that kind of did hurt E.T. for having a stay in power. Don't get me wrong, I know a lot of people still love E.T. and a lot of adults now watch it with their kids. But I'm sure you agree, it just doesn't have the cultural impact, let's say Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, and some other really big movies of the 80s do. And again, I will say that those movies all had a trilogy, or at least some sequels. So, let's talk about E.T. Now, of course, LJN got a lot of the toy rights. They made these little plastic figures, which still, to this day, I don't understand why no one did a good figure line. It was a Steven Spielberg movie. It was, you knew it was going to be a big hit. There was no real good action figure line. And like I said, you did have LJN throwing out some like little type of figures, more figurines. But an action figure set would have been cool. E.T., Elliot, his brother, I don't forget his name, Drew Barrymore. Maybe she could have come with a little bag of cocaine. Who knows? And they could have had them on bicycles. You could have done a lot with this line. You could have had an exclusive Mellaway C. Thomas Howell figure if they really wanted to. But LJN wasn't the only one to make toys based on E.T. The other one was Hasbro. They turned their normal light bright toy into an E.T. light bright. And then they had a talking phone where you could call E.T. and help him phone home. There was an E.T. pencil set. Not exactly sure what you do with this. I guess it was just pencils that had E.T. written on them. Hasbro even did an E.T. toothbrush. Yep, you could brush your teeth with E.T. But today I'm going to tell you about an E.T. toy, if you can call it that, that you probably didn't know about. And it's a life-size, yeah, life-size E.T. This was called the E.T., the extraterrestrial roommate valet hamper. So what exactly was this E.T. roommate valet hamper? Well, I think you can kind of guess by the name. It was a clothes hamper. You put your dirty clothes, I guess you wouldn't put some clean clothes in it. But this thing was 41 inches tall. Life size, at least life size to E.T. I believe. And it also was a valet. Now, I'll be honest, at first I was like, valet? This thing will go park your car for you if you went to the mall? But apparently a valet or a bedroom valet is something to hang your clothes on. For most of us, that's just the exercise equipment we bought and used for about two months. But this big hunk of plastic really didn't do much. Well, didn't do anything at all. Except on the back had a little compartment you could open it up and throw your clothes in. Again, I'm hoping you put dirty clothes in this thing and your mom would come in, take them out, take them downstairs or wherever the washing room was and wash them. But it is a nice looking E.T. Well, it's nice looking for E.T. To me, E.T. was always very strange. But he does have that lovable ugly to him. But I always hated that his... It looked like no matter how he walked, it looked like he dragged his ass on the floor. Especially if he had a carpet. You're like, I don't want E.T. dragging his ass around the carpet. Or at the very least, getting carpet burns on his balls. I mean, this guy had no leg. He had feet, but he had no legs. But let's get back to talking about the Hasbro E.T. roommate valet hamper. 
You could put a hat on it. You could put a jacket on it. You could put a necklace on it. You could even put one of your dad's tie around his neck. You could do a lot with these things. And, according to Hasbro and the box, it was for ages 3 and up. If you were a big E.T. fan back in the day, or even a big E.T. fan today, and you have an E.T. collection, I think you would want this one in your collection. Again, because its life size are very close to it. Now, it would have been cool if this thing did something. Maybe if it lit up, or maybe if it made sounds, that would be extra cool. But then it would have cost more, because back in 1982, when this was released, it was $50. How much is $50 in today's? Well, I looked at some inflation calculators from different websites, and they all put that around $160 to about $165. What is a lot of money for a plastic ET laundry basket? Let's be honest, it's they put your laundry in or to play dress up with. What about today? Well, this thing seems to be rare, although I see about five of them currently on eBay right now, but people are asking over $1,000 for these things. If I go to eBay and search for ones that's been sold, I only could find two that went close to a thousand. And all the ones currently on eBay isn't in the box. I didn't even see many of the boxes when I searched it on Google. But the box isn't anything really special. It's just a cardboard box. The front is just a label that shows ET, but it's not like a very cool graphic box that you gotta have. And let's be honest, if somebody bought this, chances are they threw away the box. And I couldn't find any of these sealed in the box. I can't imagine what that would go for. But if you're looking to add this ET to your collection, on the low side, you can expect to pay around $1,000. Again, condition is everything. I didn't see one of these graded. That would be crazy to see this thing graded behind glass. Now, I know this is kind of a short video today, but I look at toys all the time, and I never even saw this thing until today. Maybe in uh, passing, I saw it and didn't pay much attention to it, but I don't recall ever seeing this at a toy show. I don't remember seeing this on any website when I'm searching for videos to do. I can't remember this thing at all, and I really don't remember it back in 1982. I don't know anyone that had it, although I know people that really fell in love with E.T. I'm guessing this thing came out around Christmas time, 82, and then was just out of the market because this is a Christmas item, especially for back then. Unless you were some rich parent trying to spoil your kid and buy him a life-size E.T. in March for no reason at all, these things probably just hung around at Christmas time. But being that I look at toys so much, when I find something I didn't even know about, especially something so related to such a pop icon, I have to share it with you guys. So you can tell me in the comments section, I knew about this, I had one, everyone in my neighborhood had one. In fact, if you didn't have one, we thought you were square. So let me know in the comments below, did you have this life-size ET? Maybe a friend had it, did you even know about it? And if not, would you have liked it if, as a kid in 1982? I wasn't the biggest ET fan, I watched the movie and kind of moved on. But this would have been kind of cool to have. I would have filled it up with a lot of dirty socks. Bye, E.T. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.